welcome. Today, I will show you how you can create customers in Odoo. Odoo has been developed to help you be effective in all activities and especially in sales and accounting. There are a few ways for creating a custom in Odoo. The first way is to go to the sales menu and to press customer. Then you just press the button create. You see now a screen that will allow you to fill in all the information for the customer. First, you will enter the name of the company, if it's a company. You may want to create multiple contacts for this company. In this case, you should press the checkbox, is a company. When you do that, immediately you see on the bottom, create. That will allow you to create contacts for the company. But let us continue. We fill in the address. The company is on Main Street in Navan. County Meet. Nyland. The website is www.myfirstcompany.com and the phone number is for Ireland 353-86-87-87-87 and the email address is customer at myfirstcompany Com. It's important to have the email address in Odoo because you will be able to directly send quotations via email and also invoices. If you want to have the logo of the company there, you can press here on the top and you will be able to select the logo. When you have a person, it's a lot of fun to have the image of the person in front of you when you speak with the person. On the bottom, you can enter internal notes related to the company, for instance, related to the first contact you had with the company, what the company is doing. Okay. For instance, this company is specialized. Marketing. Okay, now let's move on to the sales and purchases. Now you're wondering, why do I have sales and purchases if I'm only creating a customer? It's simple. In Odoo, we consider suppliers and customers and partners for which almost the same information is to be defined. Instead of creating an entity called customer and another entity called supplier, we create one entity to which we assign the roles customer or supplier. And this is done by checking this checkbox here on the right. So now it will be a supplier and a customer. But in our case, I just want to create a customer, so I uncheck the supplier. You can assign a salesperson as a standard. Normally the salesperson is a user in your system. In this case, I choose manager one. Now, you define the language of communication with your customer. In our system, we have three languages. English, UK English, and French. I will choose French. In this case, all the quotations and the sales order will automatically be created in French. But think about it, 
you will have to create the translation of the products yourself. Now we can go to the next step, accounting. If your system is properly set up, the fields account receivable here and accounts payable there should be automatically filled. Now, the most important setup that will simplify your life, especially if you sell in foreign countries, the fiscal position. Fiscal position here. Odoo has a very nice system allowing you to define the VAT treatment of your customer. This allows you to not care about it yourself. The system will automatically adapt the VAT to the customer. As an example, you sell goods in Ireland and in France. Your customers may or may not be VAT registered in their country. It is your responsibility to know about their VAT registration and to apply the correct tax for that. This is what the fiscal position is all about. Let us have a look. Here, I see different fiscal positions. Domestic VAT registered. EU VAT registered, EU not VAT registered. For example, if I sell goods in France from Ireland, I need to know if the customer is VAT registered or not VAT registered. If he is VAT registered, I will apply a 0% taxes. But if not, I will apply the standard local taxes for Ireland. So, Odoo will do all of this automatically. So, if I choose EU v VAT registered, the system will automatically apply the export rate. And if I choose EU not VAT registered, the system will automatically apply the local rate for Ireland. In my case, I take a domestic VAT registered. We now can enter the VAT code of the customer. When I enter the code, I can press the check validity and the system is going to check whether this number is valid. If it isn't the case, the system will react and tell me that the format is not valid for the country. You see? He tells me the format is not valid for the country. In this case, I have to change the VAT code. If I don't have the VAT code at the moment for a domestic customer, it is not relevant. But it is relevant if you need to do export. So, let me enter something that is different and check the validity. The system accept this VAT number. To finish, we will just enter the customer payment terms. I click here and I can choose one of the payment terms. In this system, we only have defined these three payment terms. But of course, you will be able to define your own payment terms. When this is done, I just press the button save and my customer is created. If I need to do change, I just press the button Edit and I can do the changes. If I start doing changes and I realize that it was incorrect, I can press the button Discard and the changes will not be saved. Now, we will show you another way to create a customer. Let's say you are on the phone with a customer that wants to purchase something. So you will start the creation of a sales order. I go to sales, sales order. I press the button create. And now my customer is called Mary. So I type in Mary. When I type it, all the names starting with M-A-R are coming. And on the bottom, you see create and edit. Let me first write the name in full. Mary Marlowe. The 
system asked me to create a the Mary Marlowe and say create an edit. So what is the difference? If I press create Mary Marlowe, I will see nothing happening. But the system has created a customer called Mary Marlowe and I can edit the customer just by pressing this small button on the right of the field. You see, Mary Marlowe has been created as a customer but with absolutely no information, just the accounting information that is automatically filled in was there. Let me do this again. I will create Mary Marlowe too. The system proposes me create an edit. So I'm going to press create an edit. And what is the difference? Now, when I try to create an edit, the system shows me the same screen that we worked on before, and I can enter all the information related to this customer. This is very useful when you do export, because in this case, you will want to have everything properly calculated for the VAT, so you will be willing to enter the fiscal position immediately. Odoo allows you just to enter the, the minimum information and to save. You may go later to fulfill all this information. One of the reasons for this behavior is that you first want to make the sale before you ask all the details of the customer. For this reason, it's easier to just write in the name of the customer, create the customer on the very fast way, and then add all the products. So you can concentrate your time in discussing about the product with the customer. Once this is done and the customer has agreed about what he wants to buy, you just have to press the button left of the customer to finish the creation of the customer by entering all the information relating to the street and the city. In the country. You will find the exact same behavior if you are in accounting. So let me show you. I go to accounting and I try to create a customer invoice. So I create a customer invoice. I'm looking for Mercedes Marlowe. So she doesn't exist. So I can create Mercedes Marlowe quickly fast and enter all the information related to the invoice. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you want to make a try of Odoo, go to our demo webpage demosas.ybo-services.net and request a user. All your comments are welcome.